Hello there and welcome to the new video where I will show you a tip and trick from my book Ultimate Handbook of Finding Missing Values in Python. And today I will show you how you can display all the rows by validating for a particular column that is not having missing values. That means there are columns in your data set that is having missing values. Some may have not no missing values so you don't really know. But you want to make sure that for a given column you display the rows that is not at all having or missing values so how we can achieve it so that uh, the processing that you are doing is something you want to make sure that you don't get a null value for that given column all right so for that first thing is we will go into import pandas and then we will going to import the uh, data set after importing the data set I will going to create one cell for me over here and as I mentioned at the start what we want to do is we want to get the non-null values by validating a specific column so that for for that particular column we want to get all the rows but no null value all right so here we have sales and again I will use sales and take the column name which is product base margin I know that this column is having null and I want to make sure that I am not uh, producing or I'm not showing those rows which is having null values and then I will use dot and say not null function this will make sure that rows which is having null values is not displayed so once I execute it you will see that down there we have 8327 rows that has been returned but the last row is 8389 or they may there may be one or two rows if there are null but just to validate that the last row here we are getting is 8389 however the code has returned only 8327 rows which indicates that it has removed those rows uh, for for this column that is having missing values in this column so whenever you are having a situation like this you can run this code and get the output that you need and like this you have uh, 24 different recipes in this book which you can find it handy whenever you are dealing with the missing values and you can get it from the uh, you can get the link of this book in the description so that's about it i'll meet you in the next video the new topic